going to be looking at the Molten Boss Fractal, I assume. You've got, you basically got to deal with a, a couple of Molten Knuckleheads, and this is from the Molten Alliance dungeon. So it's, it's basically the last section, the very last part of that dungeon in its previous iteration. That's essentially what we've got. So the very last fight is basically a boss fractal. Now, there's a few little bits of added trash, so go ahead and take out the champion and the other bits and bats, and then you can actually get to the fight. Now, they have quite a few abilities between them, which makes it really fun to deal with. And I say fun, it can get very frustrating to deal with, depending on uh, whether your group will listen or not. So uh, I guess that's, that's dependent on the group. But you've got the Molten Berserker, and the Molten Firestorm. Now, the Firestorm pretty much doesn't do a great deal in in Phase 1, when you've got both of them. It'll pretty much just fly into the air and start shooting fire everywhere. That's that's kind of its thing. It likes to set patches on, of the ground on fire, make them unsuitable for living and or standing on. So, what you need to do is avoid that fire. Note that in the Fractals, that fire will give you an agony tick. So if agony is something that you're scared of, due to agony resist not being high enough, you really, really need to stay out of that fire. As soon as it hits you, it's going to start ticking. Agony is hurting quite a lot if you if you don't like over gear it with agony resistance, so you kind of want to be avoiding that as much as possible. The Berserker, on the other hand, has a few abilities. Now, he'll kind of stomp on you, whack, whack you, just like good old melee with his nice shiny fists. He'll do quite a bit of damage that way. But his main ability is when he kind of slams the ground, he'll send out some AoE shockwaves. Now, some of them can be jumped over, some of them need to be dodge rolled. Either which way, his damage is a lot harder to avoid. So we're getting rid of him first. I recommend with every group to get rid of the Berserker first, for that reason, as well as the reason that going into Phase 2, the Berserker does a lot more damage with his AoEs, with his auto attacks, but he also gains some of the fiery abilities, which is not fun at all. When you kill the Berserker first, the Firestorm in Phase 2 just puts an AoE around the edge of the room, or edge of the platform, so it kind of reduces the amount of room you've got to work with, making avoiding the fire a little harder, but in my opinion, it's still easier to avoid than the Molten Berserker's AoEs, so that's why I'd recommend doing it that way. The other is that the Molten Firestorm usually stays pretty static, he'll stay in one spot most of the time, so you can happily just wail on him with melee and just whack him down that way. This is the best way, this is the best way we found throughout the dungeon when it was a dungeon, and it seemed to work perfectly fine with uh, the groups that I've been doing the fractals with. One thing worth no noting sorry, is that you want to kill one at a time. You want to focus all your damage on one, because as soon as you kill one, the other heals to full health anyway, so there's no point splitting the damage to try and kill them at the same time. So that's kind of pretty much the same, I'll be honest. In phase two, with the Firestorm, you don't really have to worry about much more, just a little bit of space reduction and just whack him down. One thing that I am going to mention is that if you kill one and then wipe, the fun thing is you don't have to kill them again. You go straight back into the fight on phase two, so there is a little bit of saved progression there. But it's not too difficult. In fact, I bet this is actually the easiest one and, and less time consuming boss fractal out of the three, which is kind of interesting. So that's it for the Molten Boss Fractal. Thanks for watching, folks. Good luck now.